Hey there, Tall Man Clan. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are back at Florida Outdoors in Stewart, Florida, and we are looking at an Apex Nano. This is the 187 RB. So let's get right to it. Come on up here, Lisa. All right, we're gonna start at the front. You got two 20 pound propane tanks, spots for two batteries. It is a manual crank. By the way, we apologize for the road noise. We are literally right on a major highway right here. So if it gets too loud, we apologize. But it is a manual crank, so you're gonna have to crank this off your truck. Okay. Over here, pretty generous storage. The door's a little small, but I mean, you can get plenty of stuff in there, okay? It does have manual jacks. You'll have to crank those down when you wanna stabilize the unit. Now, if you look up top, it does have an awning that covers almost the entire side, which is awesome. You have a solid step, step above step. I love that as opposed to the regular RV steps. Now, one of the things they do to make this off-road is you notice how much higher this is than a normal RV. They said, if you can get a close-up here, they've got two extra pieces of steel welded to the frame to get the whole RV up, or should I say the, the tire is lower. So that way there, if you're taking this off-road, you can clear all the brush. Absolutely awesome. All right, so we're here at the back. As you can see, the tire is mounted, the spare tire is mounted to the bumper. It is not pre-wired for a backup camera. So if you want to add a backup camera, you're going to have to do all the wiring, okay? Also, there is no ladder here either. So for inspecting the roof, you're going to need a ladder. Come on. Now, I know the sign on the side of the RV says off-grid, but if you're going to be on-grid, this is where everything connects. Your power, your water, you do have an outdoor shower. This is where your sewer connections are. So you can go on grid if you want. All the connections are right here. All right, let's take a look at the numbers. All right, this has a 4,700 pound gross vehicle weight and a carrying capacity of 1,302. So yeah, you can carry over 1,300 pounds. All right, let's go inside. All right, so we're inside the RV. This is a north to south bed, which is much better for us tall people. For those seeing our videos for the first time, I am six foot four. So everything we talk about height, take that into reference. I'm six foot four, all right? This bed, uh, I would call this an RV queen, all right? Um, not incredibly wide, but, it, it, but it's deep enough and your feet would hang over because it's north to south. So if you're tall like I am, you're pretty good to go. There's cabinetry above. There's cabinetry on the sides where you can hang stuff up, and there's some storage underneath as well. So there's some extra storage in here. Um, there is some power right here for you to charge things at night, but I do not see any USB ports. It's just a regular outlet, okay? Speaking of outlets, and you don't have to spin around at all, but your outlet for your kitchen is right on the side here, okay? Speaking of kitchen, why don't we do that? Right over here, we have this nice big sink. I, it looks like stainless, but I believe it's plastic. It, it's not, it's painted plastic. Yeah, but it's a nice large basin. It is. It's got a nice tall faucet here. Um, we do have lots of storage overhead, as well as some storage beneath. Actually, nice. Yeah, that's here. nice storage down that there. Um, we do have over here a two burner stove. We have a microwave below. And yeah, we already talked about that storage. <laughs> Moving over here. Nice to meet you, sir. We have our refrigerator freezer. Right, and that is a propane um, and electric. So yes. if you, that and would be on propane. There is another cabinet up here as well. As. Oh, you know, a little food storage area. Yeah, like a yes. little pantry. My guess is you'll probably also have to put some towels in there from the bathroom, but we'll see in a second. All right, here's our dinette. Yes. That would seat four, actually, quite comfortably, I think, yeah. I think it would, yes. And yep, there's sure some power it's... outlets underneath there, too, if you down there see that. Nice, awesome. Oh, yeah, I did see that. Nice. Now, it does convert into a bed. Yeah. Okay. And we have storage above as well. Nice. As you can see, there is audio wired into the t uh, into the coach, so that's pretty cool. I'm sure it would connect into the TV, which would be over here. I'm not sure how it would do that, but that's where your cable would be. So I'm assuming you'd have to mount the TV here, okay? So, well, <laughs> you know what time it is. It's time for... Tom's Toilet Test! Ah! Porcelain foot flush toilet. 
Um, there is plenty of room left to right. I mean, I'm tight, but there's plenty of room. Um, front to back, just enough room. So this one is... Now, to my right, your left, is your sink. There's an actual sink in the bathroom. I love it when they actually put bathroom sinks in the bathrooms, so you don't have to go to the kitchen to wash your hands. All right, so you got a little sink in here, all right? A uh, bit of storage underneath, a little bitty storage. And then above here, there is a medicine chest, all right? Nice little mirror. Now, I made a comment about having to use that little storage outside, but guess what? I was wrong. We've got a huge storage area in here. I mean, absolutely huge. There's wardrobe space in there, space for linens and towels, plenty of storage in the bathroom for those things. So um, let's, uh, let's go see how we do in the shower. All right, well. I think that should say it. All right, so let us know what you think of this model, uh, this Nano. I mean, there's some nice things about it. There's some challenging things. And as I've mentioned before, again, guys, I'm six foot four, all right? So if you're six foot or under, that shower would have been okay. The toilet will be absolutely perfect. The beds would be great. But for those of you who are watching who are my height, please beware. This model is gonna present some challenges to you. In fact, I can't even walk underneath the air conditioning without ducking, okay? So just take these things in mind. For those of you who have found our videos for the very first time, Thank you so much for stopping. You know what to do. Smash the button. For all the Tall Man Clan, thank you so much for coming back. We do love you guys. And until we see you all again, be safe. <laughs>